Independence Day. It was morning and Gattu Chinki were all set for school. Papa was sitting with them watching the news on TV. Suddenly, they heard a sound from outside the house. A tempo had arrived outside. A song was playing loudly on its speaker. <laughs> Kids, every time Independence Day or Republic Day is coming up, we always hear this music. Isn't that right? Yes, Papa. You're right. Papa, do you know that this year on Independence Day, our school is forming a team of students and those students will go to Gandhi Maidan. Oh, wow. That's great. And Papa, guess what? I am in that team with Kattu and some other kids from our class. Hmm, well done kids. So tell me, what will happen there? Papa, at Gandhi Maidan, team of students and teachers from other schools will also come. And first, we'll all march together there. And then the chief guest will do the flag hoisting. Yes, and that's not all Papa. There will also be students from other schools performing dances and music. Our seniors will perform a dance too. Just then, Mummy came with Gattu and Chinky's tiffin boxes and said, Wow kids, that sounds great. But now, put your tiffin in your bags quickly or else you will be late for school and Papa will be late for office. Come on, hurry up. Gattu and Chinky went to school with Papa. Gattu and Chinky practiced marching a lot with their team until Independence Day. Gattu stood at the front holding the flag of their school and the rest students marched behind him. Finally, Independence Day arrived and Gattu and Chinky woke up early, put on their house t-shirts and got ready. Gattu Chinky, here you go. You both wanted these Indian flag caps and Papa bought them. Now hurry up, your school bus is about to arrive. You're going to Gandhi Maidan by bus only, right? Yes, Mummy. We are all set. But I am feeling a bit nervous. I am at the front. What if something goes wrong? Oh, Gattu, don't be nervous. We have practiced marching so much. Yes, Gattu. Best of luck. Everything will be great. Just then the school bus horn honged and Gattu and Chinky quickly got on the bus and took their seats. The team and their PT teacher were already there. After a while, they reached Gandhi Maidan. First, all the teams from different schools were going to march together. So, Gattu, Chinky and their team went to their place on the ground. Chinky stood behind Gattu, whispered in his ears. Good luck Gattu, do your best. Soon the march began and Gattu stood at the front with his Indian flag. Leaders from other schools stood beside him and all the team leaders shouted together. Attention! Stand at ease! Attention! Stand at ease! After that, when they got the command from their PT teachers, they all moved forward together and completed the march. Gattu felt very proud to stand in front and lead his team. After a while, the march ended and all the children sat down on their seats. Then the dance performances began. Gattu, you did great. It wasn't just me, Chinky. We all did well and so did the other school's team too. Yes, let's watch the dance performance now and then there will be the flag hoisting. Gattu and Chinky sat in their seats and started watching the dance performances. Their seniors danced to songs like Jai Ho, Desh Rangila and Ma Tujhe Salam. Then the chief guest came on stage and addressed all students. Kids, I am a book writer and I really enjoyed meeting all of you and celebrating Independence Day with you. We all performed with so much energy today. I hope you'll keep this energy in your studies and make our country's future bright. After today's program, I have a small gift for each of you. Make sure to keep it safe. Happy Independence Day to each one of you. Thank you. After that, the chief guest did the flag hoisting and the Independence Day program concluded. Kattu, ma'am said there's a gift for everyone. What do you think it will be? Before Gattu could answer, their PT teacher came over and gave gifts to all the kids in their team. After that, everyone boarded the bus and headed home. 
It was evening and mummy and papa were eagerly waiting for Gattu and Chinki. Oh, you're back. How was the day? It was great, papa. Everything went really well and look, we got a surprise gift too. Wow, what is this? Mummy, why don't you open it? Mummy opened the gift and found a small book inside. The book was written by the chief guest who was at the program. Wow kids, this book has many things about our country's independence. Make sure to read it carefully. It will tell you a lot about our country. Then we'll definitely read it, Papa. <laughs> now let's have some snacks and rest. You must be tired. And that's how Gattu and Chinki celebrated Independence Day wonderfully. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.